All right, I forgot my camera, but I wanted to share. I got a light meter. I mainly got it for when I'm shooting film, so I don't have to second guess what exposures I'm doing all the time. But now, the model thinks I'm talking to her, but I'm talking to you guys. Uh, anyways, I so. Have a name. You know, I have a name. What's telling me your name? Marina. Oh, Marina. All right, anyways. <laughs> Models always make it about themselves. So I got it for the film stuff, but then when I was looking into it, I was like, I need to learn my correct lighting ratio. Is on YouTube? She just loves interrupting me. <laughs> uh, I've been wanting to learn my lighting ratios. because Every time I do an off-camera flash, I spend 10 minutes just trying to like fiddle with what exactly I'm doing. So learning your correct lighting ratios just makes all that way easier and you get better results. Jeez. <laughs> oh God. She's so high maintenance, guys. She only likes shooting between the hours of 12 and 5. 12 and 5, that's when I like to shoot. But I'm I'm a nice person. I just, <laughs> I prefer sometimes. See, so guys, this is why you don't work with LA models. I'm from LA. All right, guys, so when I'm measuring my film shit, oh, sorry, she doesn't want me cursing, am I? Don't swear. I'm just shooting wide open just to make it easier on the film, so 2.8. Uh, I have ISO 400 film. I don't like pushing or pulling film. If you tell me to, go away. All you do is you just put this next to the model's face, do this, and then it's saying a thousand shutter speed. We'll do it again just for safety. Yeah, a thousand shutter speed. So let's see what the actual film camera is telling us. All right, so you can see we're at 2.8. We'll put a thousand just to be accurate. So you guys can see, we'll aim this right at her face. Kara's saying we're 0.7 stops under exposed. But I'm gonna trust the meter and not the meter in here. But that's pretty damn accurate for this older camera to be pretty close to that. Just got this lame model just up in the grass. So uh, as you guys can see, again, we're at 2.8 ISO 400, because we're shooting Portra 400. Let's just meet her. And it says 1000 still, because the light hasn't really changed, so that makes sense. But you can see there's stronger light here. So we do it here. Now it's saying 4,000. Earlier we did a shot where half her body was in light and her face was in shade. So I metered in between and it was about two stops over where the strong light was. And so I just shot it at what the face was because film, you could push like three or four stops and it'll still recover. So you guys can see the camera meter is showing that we're a stop under. Again, this is why a light meter is good. For digital, it's kind of pointless just because, oh, well, mirrorless, because we can see our exposures and uh, you have to underexpose anyway, so. All right, sorry, y'all. This is gonna be kind of a short, boring video, but I just wanted to share my first introduction into using a light meter. And I am insanely, happy first off not stressing over my exposures or anything like that is just a big relief uh, second every single photo came out perfect this is like the first roll i've done where i have zero issues with the way that the photos came out uh, i'm pretty much hooked on using a light meter from now on for film and i have a feeling it's going to help me a lot when it comes to using strobes um, the second reason I'm very happy with this film is in Negative Lab Pro, I was using the linear setting before, but now I just decided to use the Lab Soft or the Lab Soft Shadow just because it gets the contrast off right off the bat. Because Negative Lab Pro actually came out with a new update, so using the color tools in it and everything, I'm now realizing it's better just to get the photo as far as possible with the Negative Lab Pro instead of trying to do like really flat edits and uh, working on them later. I'm going to do a video testing out the most popular light meter app. I have a feeling the actual light meter is still gonna be better just cause it's the most accurate way to read it. So yeah guys, again, sorry for the, kind of the boring video, but uh, yeah, peace.